Hi, this is Lee Garrett, and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online. Today's video is going to look at something of a rarity nowadays, a utility application that gets a lot of love and maintenance, it provides great usage and is, for the most part, free to use. Now, Dropover is a shelf utility for macOS that allows you to stack files in one or more small shelves, ready for pasting somewhere else later. And it's not just pasting somewhere else that you can carry out with this application. There's a lot of stuff that you can do with the files that you collect. And I'm looking forward to showing exactly what this utility can do. Right, this is Dropover on the Mac App Store. Now, I've just done a basic search for it so that you can see what to expect when you search for it yourself. There's a couple of results here, but it's the one on the left that we want. So I'll click. And sure enough, we normally see a small tagline indicating that the app includes some in-app purchases. There isn't one below this. Although you can pay a one-off fee for a pro version of the app. And I'll show you shortly how to do this and what it gives you. The reviews that you can see are great. It's got a 4.9 rating. And if I come over here to click on the version history, as I record this, the last update was as recent as two weeks ago. However, it has received regular monthly updates and quite a lot of new features have been added in that time. So it's certainly loved and cared for by its developer and worth a look in my opinion for sure. Now let's take a quick look at the developer's site. I'll come down here, open Safari, where I'm on the FAQ page for the app. And I just want to draw your attention to the top question, which is, is it free to use? And it is indeed free to use. There is a pro version trial for 14 days, which you will see today on this account I'm using. And when that expires, the only limitation that you have is you need to wait three seconds before you can interact with the shelf. So you don't lose any functionality per se by not having the pro version. It's more a slight reduction in experience, especially if you're working to the clock. Now, if however, drop over is a utility that you won't be looking to use all that much, Waiting three seconds to interact with the shelf isn't going to hurt you. However, if you do use it a lot and it's going to be central to your workflow, then I'd say give the developer that small token because it's definitely saving you time, especially as that one purchase means that you can use it on multiple computers as well. Let's open up Dropover for the first time now. So I'll invoke my app launcher, type Dropover. And on its first run, I'm presented with this window, which I'll just move into a better position here. So this is a simple overview as to what the app can do. So I'll just slowly skip through all of this so that you can see what's there. It's certainly a standard set of welcome messages and I'll be covering everything there in the video, of course, anyway. Now here we can elect to start drop over on login and I think I will accept that. And then of course there's a notification from the system advising me that background items have now been added. So I'll close this. And Dropover is running, and I know this from the menu bar icon that's now appeared. So let's click it and see what we can do. And the menu bar item list here is very limited, which is good. We can create a new shelf at the top. A link to upgrade to the pro version is below, as well as a summary of how many days are left on the free trial. And then below that, we have the quick start guide that we've just seen. There's some developer information and a link to the preferences window as well. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, Visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a Screencasts Online member.